Hi guys, how are you? Today I'm making a ground turkey taco. I'm making it in a similar style to the style that I ate a lot when I was growing up, which is made by sauteing some onions with spices, chili powder, and tomato paste. When I was growing up, we always used ground beef, but I know that lots of people enjoy eating ground turkey or chicken more than ground beef. Either you don't eat beef or you're trying to lighten up a little bit. So this is a recipe that uses ground turkey. I have a pound of ground turkey and I am currently mincing up one medium onion. I have a large skillet heating on medium high heat. Add some olive oil to the pan and you're going to start off by sauteing your onion. You don't want to have raw onion in this dish. It will be chunky and not very nice. So you want to start off by cooking down your onion a bit to soften it, get it translucent and lose some of that moisture. The recipe doesn't call to, but I like to add just a pinch of salt to my onions when they're cooking. That helps pull the moisture out so that they cook down more quickly. This should take about three to five minutes depending on the heat of your stove. I have this on a medium high, but everybody's stove is slightly different, so it's gonna take a little more time or a little less time for you depending on what your stove is like. When your onion is translucent, you can add the ground turkey. This is a pound of ground turkey meat. What you wanna do at this point is cook your turkey until it's no longer translucent, so it gets a little bit opaque before you add your seasonings. And turkey is very low in fat, and I only added about a tablespoon of oil, so I'm gonna add another tablespoon. It's supposed to be two. And for some reason, I didn't add that much, which is very unlike me, as you guys know. <laughs> with ground meat, just sort of cook it, mashing it with the back of a spoon. At this point, I'm turning my heat higher because I can see that it's steaming a little bit in there. So in order to make it cook and maybe brown just a little bit, turn the heat up. When I was growing up in an unnamed decade, we used to make tacos like this all the time, and my aunt would make them. It was her specialty. So not turkey, obviously, but I call them um, Aunt Colleen's tacos when I make them at home. A teaspoon of kosher salt can go in now, a tablespoon of chili powder, and about a tablespoon of tomato paste. I generally do my cooking in the morning because I get home late from work, and also I'm tired of standing on my feet all day from cooking at work. So I make dinner for my kids in the morning, and this is a great thing to make in the morning because you can just heat it up in the microwave when you get home. You can prep all of the toppings, and then you just pull it out, and dinner is basically ready. Now you add a cup of, you can use water, but I'm using chicken broth and you just simmer this until the sauce is sort of thickened, reduced down, and it coats the turkey. It'll probably take about five minutes. You stir it occasionally. Make sure to like this recipe and click subscribe for more recipes like this. The sauce is reduced down, slightly thickened, starting to coat, and that's what you're looking for, so you can turn it off and get ready to eat, or you can turn it off, let it cool down, put it in the fridge and eat it later, which is what I would do at home. I'm using crunchy taco shells, which is what we ate growing up, though I have to say, we did make our own crunchy tacos, and if you want to see a recipe for that, go on MarthaStewart.com. We have plenty of different recipes, and I've shown how to make these before. Spoon. This is maybe too hot. I'm probably making a huge mistake right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some meat into my taco shell. And then obviously the toppings are up to you and you can be cr as creative as you want. Today I have shredded lettuce, grated cheddar cheese, sour cream, avocado, cilantro, and pico de gallo. But clearly it's up to you, whatever you enjoy. Put some lettuce maybe. Cheese. Obviously avocado because it's my favorite food and everybody else's too. And maybe a little spoonful of pico de gallo, but my taco seems very, <laughs> very full. So I'm afraid. Let me get a plate because I'm afraid it's gonna leak. <laughs> there you have it. Mmm, crunchy and delicious and super easy, great for make ahead. Please enjoy turkey tacos for medium. <laughs>